Hello everyone. Welcome to Arduino Yard. Today we are going to make a temperature and humidity monitoring system with an IoT platform named Adafruit IO. We are going to learn the following things. We will learn how to set up Adafruit IO dashboard. Send and receive data from Adafruit IO. We will be working with the Node MCU or ESP8266. Coding will be done on Arduino IDE. DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor will be used. We will also be controlling an output on Node MCU from Adafruit IO over Wi Fi. The components required for this project are Node MCU, DHT11 sensor, one LED, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. Let's start with Adafruit dashboard setup. Go to io.adafruit.com. Click on Sign In. Sign in with your username and password. If you don't have an account, sign up first. Click on Dashboards. Click on New Dashboard. Name the dashboard. Click on the dashboard you created. Go to Dashboard Settings and create a new block. For the LED, select a toggle button. Enter a new feed name for the LED. Select it and click Next Step. Give this block an appropriate name. Click Create Block. Now, create another block. Select Gauge for Temperature. Enter a name for Temperature Feed. Select it and click Next Step. Give this block an appropriate name. Label the gauge as C. Click Create Block. Now, similarly create a block for humidity. Click on Edit Layout and reorganize the blocks. Then click Save Layout. Now click the small key on the top right. This will reveal the username and active key. We will need these two in our program. Now, let's get started with the programming. Download the code given in the description of this video. Open it in Arduino IDE, and change the username and key, to the one you got from Adafruit dashboard. Also replace the SSID and password in the code, with your own Wi-Fi credentials. Now we need to install the ESP8266 boards. Go to File, Preferences, and paste the URLs given in the description of this video. Click OK. Go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager. Search for ESP8266 and install the boards as shown.
Click close. Now, let's install the required libraries. Go to Sketch. Include Library. Manage Libraries. Search for Adafruit MQTT Library and install it. Now, search for DHT Sensor Library. Install the DHT Library by Adafruit. Now go to Tools, and change the board to Node MCU 0.9 board. Now compile the code to make sure there are no errors. Now, let's wire our components. Wire the components according to the wiring diagram. Connect VCC pin of DHT11 sensor to node MCU 3.3 volt. Ground to node MCU ground. And data pin to D2 on node MCU. Connect the LED anode to pin D3 on node MCU. And the other side to ground. After wiring is complete. Connect node MCU to the computer through micro USB to USB A cable. Go to tools and select the port node MCU is connected to. Make sure a port for node MCU shows up. If not, then disconnect the USB cable and connect again. Select the correct port. Now hit upload. After it has been uploaded, open the serial monitor at 115200 and wait for the device to connect with the Wi-Fi. After it is connected, you should see the temperature and humidity values being printed. Now, let's go to the Adafruit dashboard and see if everything is working as expected. Now, let's see if it works on our hardware. Great! Thank you for watching. Visit ArduinoYard.com for further details and projects. Please hit like and subscribe to our channel.